I'll tell you. When I was at my primary school, mixed infants, we had a little girl just like you. She was very pretty, very smart and clean, beautifully dressed, always a nicely starched little frock on, nicely ironed bow in her hair. Butter wouldn't melt anywhere, let alone her mouth. And she ran that little school with more sheer ruthless efficiency than the head of a mafia. She asked you to do something for her and you did it. You never argued. There was no good arguing with her. She was cleverer than you were. Precociously clever. She could reduce a nine-year-old thug to tears of her sarcasm. There was no use trying to thump her either. She had seduced all the best muscle in the place. She had a bodyguard five deep. Not that she ever needed it. For some reason, she took a real dislike to me. Maybe because she could see what I really thought of her. She made my life murder. I was terrified to go to school. I used to pretend to be sick. I used to hide, play truant, anything rather than go. And then one day, in the holidays, she came round with her mother to our house to see my mother. A sociable tea and chat and they sent us two out on our own to play together. And suddenly, there we were. Not in a school, not in a playground, which was definitely her territory, but on mine. My garden, my patch. And we stood there and just looked at each other. And I thought, what am I afraid of you for? A skinny little girl with knocked knees and a front tooth missing? What on earth have I been frightened of you for, for heaven's sake? So I picked her up, like this under one arm, and I carried her right down the bottom of the garden by the rubbish tip. She never made a sound during this, not a word, nothing. And I found the biggest patch of stinging nettles I could find, and I pulled down her knickers and sat her right in the middle of them. <laughs> I felt marvellous. It was a beautiful moment, magic. And she sat there for a very long time, not moving, just looking at me, weighing me up, you know. Then she got up, pulled up her knickers, very quietly took hold of my hand, gave me a big kiss, and we went in and had our tea. I've never been in love like that again. <laughs>